Here we have a Hot Wheels 3 pack from 1983. It's known as the uh, special 15th birthday 3 pack. It's the uh, 15th birthday because Hot Wheels started in 1968. So 15 years would make uh, 1983 the 15th anniversary. Very nice belt buckle. But most collectors like this pack because of this car right here. 1967 Camaro. A lot of uh, Hot Wheels collectors like to collect the uh, 67 Camaro. Check out the price tag. $347 for uh, an awesome three pack. Now as a kid, you probably just want to rip it open. I was already uh, out of high school by 1983. So I think I was still wearing belts, but I definitely wasn't uh, collecting. Uh, I had other pursuits at the time. Here we got a nice long shot. And here's the P928. It's interesting, it says right here, Reproduction 1967 Camaro, the first Hot Wheels car. Because, uh, you know, when uh, people talk about Hot Wheels, and when we talk to the Hot Wheels designers, they don't really know what the first Hot Wheels car is, but it's interesting, I never noticed this pack actually says that the Camaro was the first one. Whether that's true or not, who knows. Let's take a look on the back. We have the uh, playset system, the USA, I think it was USA World, if I'm not mistaken. Let's go ahead and get a close-up. Coliseum, Civic Center. Yep, kind of sounds like uh, California over here, off the uh, Harbor Freeway. There's Larry's uh, tow truck right there. But anyways, here's uh, the instructions, how to put on the belt buckle. I don't know how many people still wear belt buckles. I, I do, but uh, I wear a belt, but I don't have uh, the kind that use a belt buckle. But in a few minutes, I'm going to need one, if you know what I mean. Here's the copyright, 1982, Hawthorne, California. But uh, this is uh, kind of interesting. This was made in Hong Kong. I would have thought by the early 80s that most of the packs, most of the cars were, uh, yeah, yeah, Hong Kong. That's right. I'm sorry. My mistake. Anyways, let's go ahead and uh, take a closer look. Now, many collectors would say, why would you open up this package? It's a collectible. And you know you are correct. But I'm making a video presentation. So why don't you put yourself in the mind of a young boy in the early 80s getting this as a little present and you just can't wait to open it up. You can't wait for that rush to rip it open and play with your new Hot Wheels. That's the perspective that you should be taking when I do these kinds of videos. Not whether it's a uh, valuable collectible or not. This three pack probably sells, I picked it up for under $50 at the convention. But, uh, you know, sometimes the price goes up, sometimes, like this, the eh, value's going to go down. Wow, this baby's still pretty good. Let's take a look at the belt buckle first. Let's see, Mattel, 1982. As you've seen, it said 83 in the front, but uh, it was actually, you know, they have to copyright it the year before. There's the uh, production uh, code, not production, but the uh, part number, that's what that would be. Let's go ahead and set this over here. Looks like a uh, long shot's uh, about ready to come out. Got me a six-wheeler. Very nice. Long shot. I think they uh, did that as a hot one, didn't they? I'm going to have to go check my pile. And uh, when I put this on the turntable, let's put them side by side. Let's take out the Porsche. Let's see, does this have a metal base? No, nope. plastic base. Plastic base, metal body. 
This one's heavy. Metal body, metal base. Got a windshield wiper. Cool. Looks like the base comes up making headlights. And da, 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 time to come out. Reproduction 67 Camaro, the first Hot Wheels car. Hmm. We'll have to compare it to uh, one of the first Redline Camaros. So don't bail out yet. There we go. We got a black painted roof, black interior, basic wheels, or black walls, I should say. Copyright 1982. Hey, was this a. Uh, hmm. Was this the first Camaro? This wasn't the first Camaro. Sorry. The first Camaro was, uh, I believe, a red one with flames. I'm trying to be careful. Nope. No overspray. Ha ha. Very cool. Let me go ahead and get the uh, turntable and, and let's go ahead and uh, take a look. Alright, let's go ahead and take a 360 on the P928. And then I'll start getting the uh, long gone ready. Or I should say long shot. Actually, when it came out in 1982, it was called long shot. You can see it on the base right there. Long shot, Mattel 1982. Made in Hong Kong. Once again, there's your uh, basic black walls. Mattel reissued it as a hot ones. But they couldn't use the name Long Shot anymore. So they called it Long Gone because uh, they didn't renew the copyright or they had lost the rights to the name of uh, Long Shot. That's why you see copyright 1982. That's the original copyright on the, the uh, tooling design, I guess. 2011 is the reissue for the Hot Ones. Metal base. Original one had plastic base. So we get a little bonus for the Hot Wheels. The Hot Ones reissue, get a metal base, which leads to the metal bumper. Whereas the original had plastic base, plastic, plastic grill. This has a plastic grill, but the bottom bumper is metal. And as you can tell, they did change the uh, design. The stacks are plastic here. This is plastic, plastic. Now the other one it was plastic before anyways, but it was chrome plastic. This one they didn't chrome the stacks. They, I'm sure they didn't chrome the stacks because I would I would bet that the uh, interior, see how it's gray, and the front grill. Uh, I, I would guess that maybe that's all one part: the interior, the stacks, and the grill. Nonetheless, pretty. Uh, hey, we got a little uh, package rub here. Nonetheless, we got a very nice uh, recreation here of the original long shot. Go ahead and give him a turn while I get the uh, 67 Camaro ready. The licenses on the side are uh, Simpson AC. And then this side, Pennzoil AC, Simpson. And what was the last one on the right here? Pennzoil. Now for the 67 Camaro. 67 Camaro has a copyright 1982, made in Hong Kong. Metal body, metal base, made in Hong Kong. Again, uh, basic black walls. Opening hood, it's a little tight. We're just going to leave it alone. Painted black roof. It is painted black, right? It's not a separate, yeah, not a separate piece. Got your nice uh, exhaust pipes, black interior, very nice piece, very nice, Woo! fresh out of the blister. Now remember the package said that it was a uh, reproduction, I can't, can't see it right now because I got torn right there, reproduction 1967 Camaro, the first Hot Wheels car. 
So I guess what they were saying, you know, I've talked to uh, Hot Wheels designers nowadays, and nobody really knows what the first uh, Hot Wheels car was. But the package is saying that the uh, 67 Camaro was, but really, the original was called Custom Camaro. So here we have an ori original Redline Custom Camaro. Let's see, uh, let's see how we have the uh, little comparison. I kind of like this. Uh, big fat tires in the back. I like that. Now, of course, uh, true Redline, Redline fanatics are going to like the... Uh, uh, original red line tires. This is a copyright 1967. That's because, of course, it's copyrighted the year before it's made. Hot Wheels started in 1968. As you can see, this one has door lines. That's because uh, that one was actually made. Uh, I forget which one's made in which. U.S. foreign. This one's made in Hong Kong. So this Camaro here is made in uh, Hong Kong, and I also have a nice Red Line 67 Custom Camaro. Hey, we got a little bent axle. I'm going to have to get a wheel straightener. Uh, Custom Camaro. If this one's Hong Kong, this one uh, right there, USA. So uh, the USA version, no door, no door lines. Hong Kong version, no door lines. So the uh, belt buckle Camaro actually is kind of more like the uh, USA version. In the sense that it doesn't have uh, door lines, but uh, made in Hong Kong. Anyways, there you go. I hope I didn't bother you too much by opening up the package. But think of it as a presentation. And think of it as if you were a kid. So you get to go back and relieve the, relive the joy of opening up Hot Wheels. You get that nice little bu belt buckle. Anyways, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.